Hey guys, me again. Today, we're at uh, Cox Cemetery in New Tazewell, Tennessee. And this was made for one of my viewers who asked me to do a video on this. And I said it was already on my um, list to do. So this is for you, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking this is early 1900s cemetery established. We're right off of 33. Uh, we'll start right here. We got James Arnold Sabo, 1962 to 1978. I know it's probably hard for y'all to see it, but that's what it is. Maybe if I put a little bit closer, you can see it. There you go. And then we've got this little plot which is Mary, the daughter of Fred um, Matthews. Can't really make all of that out. Um, anyway, 1920, 1921, just a year old. Fred Logan Matthews. Uh, uh, short. G. B. Short, 1869-1931. Some walkers. There's a lot of traffic on that road. You'll hear behind me. This road from Knoxville to Tazewell to Middlesboro. Okay, this one's broke. But they are Saul's, S-A, let's see, Robert, Robert W. Saul's, S-A-U-L-S, 1871-1943, and his wife, Laura, and it looks like she was 1878 to 1980, is that an eight? I believe it is. Huh. 1980-something. Okay. And we're going up here. And a walker. Another walker. And we got a marker stone here, or this is uh, to mark his footstone, maybe. I'm going go on over here. You see there's pasture field behind us. We're really close to the lake, North Lake too. Oh, ugh. maybe we should have brought the water bottle on that one. Thomas Western, 1868 to 1908. Can you guys see that? Western. That's his footstone back there. There's a walker. Asa. And Manny. And put this flower down just a little bit. Devin, son of J.A. and Mammy Walker. 10 years old. That's hard. I know it's hard on them. Alonzo, to lose a child. You know, I don't know if it'd be easier to, to lose one at birth. I mean, you don't know until you're there. Let's see. I'll get these two and then I'm going to go back and go back up this way. These are Kind of, oh wow, River Andy, Andrew Edmondson, River Andy, 1796 to 1869. Okay, so this, this little cemetery was in the mid 1800s. So, J.A. and Mammy Walker had one Two, three, 
four, five, six, six babies, six babies. Herbert's son of J.S. and Dora Walker, 1896-1897. This one is not legible on top. It looks like sweet, maybe. And the date is 1899-1916. Julia? Julia, maybe? Walkers up here. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me go back up this way. These are footstones, footstones. This one. Um, Sharp. The last name is Sharp. Born in 1878 and died in 1850. No, that wasn't 99. Sorry, 1899. I can't make out Jean, Janae. I, I can't really make out the first name. There's a little plot that looks like that's unlegible. And this one here beside it. Yeah, it's, it's weathered down, guys. It's fell down. Then we got weathered away. Big tree down, or they've cut it down. Yep. This is just family marker. Got Margaret Logan Cadle. James Cato, Daisy, Hazel, Cato children, and Ruth and Ethel. Oh, James, Howard. This one I can't read the first. I can't read the name on it, but 1856 to 1888. Must be, I don't know if it's a footstone to that one. Doesn't look like it. it looks like it's a headstone. Yeah. And then I'll get this row here. Boy, they've cleaned these up nice. These are Bradens. Boy, they look really good. Good job on cleaning on that one. Ezra. Oh, wow, there's another one. This looks really good. United to Anna, December 1896. Oh, pretty style. There's a marker stone. This one is, uh, I can tell, 1876 to 1894, but Western is the last name. WP WP Western and WU Hodges 1831 to 1893 Walker maybe oh, I'm not sure about that one it's 1887 to 1902 Trying to stay a little quiet. Y'all can hear that lovely sound of Highway 33. <laughs> sure did. 
head. Wipe that one off so we can get it next. unusual name. Elick. Okay. I'm going to get these right here. Okay. Can't get that one. Don't think I can read that one at all. No. Well, uh, no, I don't think so. Looks like 1881 is when they was born, but I can't read it. This is 1919 with a child. And I can't read the name on that one also, so. Saws, so it's, it, it, that does look like a LS on the end. So Saws, there's George Saws. Yep. And Ethel, 1903 to 1904. And well, that one's all gone. And huh, I don't know about this one. 1902. Okay, it looks like it's 1882 to 1902. But I'm having a hard time reading the the name. Mm -hmm. I can't read the name. I'll put it up. Maybe you guys can make it out. And I can't read it. All right, I got that one. Okay. Go back down here. We'll start another row. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I think I got that. Yeah, I got those. It's this row here. I gotta go this row. Right here. The way it's laid out sometimes, I get confused. Don't take much to get me confused. Can't read it. There's a cup. Frank cup. Nice big stone. Can't read it. Here's a cup. Looks like, oh my goodness, Carol? No. 1892 to 1910. Maybe Charles. Or... Can't read that one either. These are all footstones. So, what I'll do is go back up here. Go back down. <sighs> All right. Oh, you're getting into Johnson's. This is a family stone, so here are those. There's Hattie Miller Johnson and Klebert Johnson. Arthur and Murdy. like an old grave here. Robert and Mary Johnson, 1847, was Robert to 1916. Well, they died on the same day. Really? Yeah. Well, they both, both died, died oh, August oh. the 3rd, 18, or 1916. Oh. Well, how sad. I'd like to know the history of that. I mean, I know I don't mean for it to be kind of weird, but it's just unusual. I mean, it happens, yes. But I just wonder if there was an illness or an accident. You know, you never know. Whoops, I want my camera. Hang on. The camera has went haywire. So if I can fix that real quick. This one's Joseph Beeler, 
1874-1920. Hang on just a minute, guys. I gotta fix my camera. Okay, sorry. Can't read that one. Ooh, no. <sighs> Can't read that one. That's a nope. It's just a rock marker. Here we have Mary Jane Hooper. 1854 to 1932 and Lafayette Lafayette mm -hmm. Hooper 1830 to 1928 maybe I think that's an eight Let's go on down some more Mincy Mincy Hooper and Looks like Taylor Bass, 1877 to 1948, and Mincy Hooper, 1891 to 1969, because she's got, okay, she's on his headstone, but she also has her own. And there's a rock marker. This one is Anna Vernelia Vernelli Welch. And Essie Francis Welch. Okay, they was twins. Another Sabo. Make sure I got this one. Yeah, I got that one. And I got this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Glenn. That's a un unusual way to spell Glenn, but it works. Ooh, okay. This one is Estel Loop. Estel W. Loop, 1898-1918. Then there's a big saying, but there's no way you can make all of that out. The way I'm looking at it. There's another big stone. Rock marker. See, I got that side. Okay, so I can start. Oh, there's a marker right here. Now, nope. it's about gone, but you can see the day 18, maybe 36 to 1920. I'm trying to look at the Carter. Okay. Jace, J A S E, Carter. This one's James M. Heath, Private, Company D, Tennessee Infantry, Confederate States of America, 1838, 1909. I, think so. I wish they'd clean that one. Mary Heath must be his wife, 1832 to 1919. That's another Heath, but I cannot read it. Nope. Weathered away. It's a cup. We have J.M. and Mary Ellen Cox. And over here, whew, I'm trying to get you dizzy looking down. More Johnsons. Mm. 
another Johnson. These flowers are really pretty. I don't want to mess with them though. The wind has been so bad lately through East Tennessee. Okay. Big bold letters. See how this is kind of laid out? These are straight, but that side's crooked. <laughs> so I tell you what, I'm instead of yeah. No, this side's straight to the to the road down there. Okay, this is Cox. Another one, but there's this one and Charlie. And Wales. And sweet. Another sweet. Looks like this one's very new grave here. flowers has gone down, but I'm going to try to set it back up so I can read it. Well, that's not a new grave, but maybe someone is buried here. Well, I, it don't look like a fresh grave either. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. It's a Shelby. Looks like Manda Shelby. 1864 to 1912. Ellie, maybe? Shelby. 1906-1907, maybe. Rock marker. Rock marker. Is Sarah no sorry this is S-A-P-H-I-R-I-A -I -I Zaffaria there's no R in it oh. Zaffaria yeah. yeah there is an R sorry yeah. Zaffaria Angeline Merritt Walker 1861 to 1822 1922 sorry Walter Bunden, B-U-N-D-O-N, 1882 to 1913, maybe. I'm going to some coal, CC coal. Look, 1850, 
We're about halfway through, guys. 25 minutes. Sorry about that. But it takes a while when you walk in these graveyards. If you're trying to get all of them anyway. Oh, wow, look at that one. How clean. It was almost like shine. Up here. I think I got those, I did. So I'm gonna go down here. Under the trees. This is a gray, W.M. Gray, 1852 to 1936. And I believe you guys can read that one. And that one's unlegible, unlegible. It's not too long ago. And these are coals. So this one is Joshua McKinney Cole, Tennessee Private Company, A113 Machine Gun, B something, World War I, 1894 to 1964. And this must be his wife. Gibson. And here we got Walter Burns, Kentucky Private Army Air Force, World War II. Move that leaf. It's like 1971. Peggy and more. And over there's grouse. Well, I'll come around. Somebody's just planted grass seeds, so I def definitely do not want to walk on that. Did I get what? Yeah. Walk around there and there, Ralph. Thomas. These are Blackburn Roscoe and Juanita. Pretty stone. And Roscoe was in World War II. Oh, sorry, my nose is running. Running like a sugar tree. Y'all ever heard that? Stokes. And this is Herbert Stokes, 19, 19 to 1940. Look here. Oh, I love the pictures. Oh, what a beautiful little girl. Barbara Sue. Two years old. Look how pretty. Absolutely a doll. And this is Norma Norman. Sweet. 1942. And here is Larry Joe. Sweet. He's just a few years old. Those babies. Sad. Sleep off. We got Felix Ernest Stokes, and he was uh, Tennessee Sergeant 47 Air Depot GPAAF Air, Air Force. Army Air Force. Army Air Force. Oh, okay. Let's we'll see. Did I get? I'm not sure. I don't think I got this. No, I know I didn't. Oh, here's Confederate soldier, guys. And there's his original stone. And there's his wife. They died the same year. Let's 
says Little Mary on the top. 1930, I think that's the past. Yeah, I did. Yep. We got Hunsucker, Jonathan, and Amanda. And Bella. There's a big stone here. Let's see who this is. This is Milton Cole. He was uh, 1890-1925, enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps, uh, 1917, and discharged in 1919. on the other side here because all I've got yeah here we go not Eurastus Mulliers 1891 to 1935 we have some more Edmondsons Lucy McBee and Charlie Lloyd Edmonds. And then we got a crypt. And it's not very old crypt, but it's Andy and Rachel Motors. That's a walling, Chaz walling. But it's so far in the ground, there's no way of getting to the dates. And this one is so far in the ground, but it's Wonder E. And I don't know the last name, unless that is the last name. John Mib. And I got that one. And I can go over here. This is a well-maintained ma cemetery. Minnie Brogan. Bruton. Uh, I think it's Brogan. 1873 to 1880. And... Milton Brogan, 1877-1881. So I didn't get these two. These are really small ones, but you can read them pretty well. Except that one, that one's <laughs> Emily, maybe? Yeah, Emily Brogan, 1849-1905. Uh, there's another Cox family stone. And it's got JC. 1881 to 1953. Della. 1880 to 1965. This one. Alright guys. I'm trying to hurry. But it is kind of on the hillside if you can see. <laughs> We've already covered all that, so we're doing good. Just initials. This one is a broken. J. Melvin, 1848 to 1930, maybe 1930. This is uh, also a broken, looks like James. 1854 to 1850 something, I can't tell. I don't think I got that one. I'm not sure if I did or not. Go ahead and get it one more time. I think I did, but we'll get it anyway. Whew. Oh, Martha Brogan. 1855 to 1888. It's an old one. Sweet. And Dennis Irving Sweet. Nice looking young man. Very 
handsome. Very handsome. And then, <coughs> I might make let you pick me up down there. Let me finish getting these here. This one is uh, Beatrice, maybe, Beatrice, yeah. Rouse, 1923 to 1928. Kind of hard to read. Noble, Rouse, 1809, no, 1899 to 1919, I think. Edwin Davis. Dale Abel. Doran. And Nail Rouse. Okay. to play you but I don't There's somebody pulling up of course Western we got Daisy Cox Western 1883 to 1952 and we got Robert F Western 1879 to 1958 Lauren Gilbert Braden these are Braden Peggy Marie Braden and we got Beulah Luke Braden 1917 to 1950 Marth, Marthy, I think, Sweet, 1866 to 1894, and G.S. Sweet, Son of Barton, Sweet, 1855 to 1922, and Savannah, maybe, Sweet, I'm not sure. 1889 to 1901. Eva Lula Hooper, 1882 to 1962. James Franklin. I think you guys can see that one. Everett Stokes. Nice big one. Geneva Hooper. Got Jamie Walker and getting kind of loud because I'm getting closer. Oh, this one died of a car wreck, car wreck accident in 1957. How sad. We got Walker, 1940. Virgie Nadine Walker, 1932. Ronnie Walker, 1928. These are just babies. Samuel, 1922. A lot of Walker babies, saw. Oh. This one's two years old. JC died in 1920. And I think I got that one, I did. All right, this one. Hope you guys can see that. This one's got a flag. Let me get this first. Uh, Luther, son of Mr. and Mrs. George Keck, 1922. And this is Elmer Keck, Tennessee, private, 44th Armed Infantry, uh, World War II, died in 1945. Can you all see that? Sorry if I'm holding it weird. I think I got that. Okay. Whew, mercy. We got Fate Beverly Hooper and Walter Calvin Hooper and James and Greta Hooper, J. 
Geneva. You can see that one? Everett. And William Franklin. And then we got that one. I just got William Franklin's. Okay, Everett Stokes. That one right there was Private U.S. Army World War II. Heath. Mamie, Mamie. I like how they spelled that. Condia Williams Jr., Private U.S. Army. Okay, I know I got those two. We got just a maybe five more. And that's just okay. That's his footstone. This is Margaret Holt. And then down here. Whew, bottom of the hill that I'm going to have to walk back up is I'm getting there Johnny Jones Corporal U.S. Army Korea and then this one did have a picture it looks like Nana Jones she was the mother of Zola Herman Goldie Lola Frankie Fred Jesse Johnny Linda and Nola it had some kind of little pretty picture in there, but it's faded, and the stones fell over. Jesse. Last one, guys. Oh, my goodness. Last one. Whew. And we are done. And this is the Cox Cemetery in Newcastle, Tennessee. Hope you enjoyed. And hit like and subscribe, guys. I need some more subscribers. Help me out, and I'll, uh, I'll get you some more good videos out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.